out on the vote. I swear to God, I've been at it for a minute. Climbing to the top, and this music was my ticket. Found a way to grind, turn a passion to a If anybody's watching this right now and you want to know how we blew up on social media, how we're crushing it, we're killing it, and we're dominating it, I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend, John himself with Dorothy House. They helped us do it. They lead the way um, in the industry for people blowing up their brands. They physically, I'm living proof that anyone, including yourself, can blow up your brand. So, John, let's talk about that today. By the way, you said you want to interview me. It doesn't really matter. This next 30 minutes are going to be full of impact and value that's going to change your life. But I think we're going to talk about building a brand today, right? Yeah, exactly. Let's go, baby. It's all you. I'm ready to roll. Let's go. So, Andy, how important would you say is it to build a personal brand? Um, how important how big of a part of your success is that well it's everything if anybody wants to take notes everybody needs to know who you are what you do how great you are at what you do and where you're at like call to action like if i like you how can i do business with you right mm -hmm. i remember when i first started my business number one i'm gonna tell you how important it is um, a lot of people they go to start their business they have to spend tons of money on marketing dollars uh, to get people to know who they are so they can grow their business does that make sense yeah okay so there was either that or I was organically going to build a channel and then that was going to take a long time. And maybe by the time it took to generate some leads trying to do it organically, I might go out of business. So I started studying everybody in the industry, right? And I'm like, dude, how am I going to grow? How am I going to grow? And I just realized this obscurity is the death of everybody. Obscurity means people don't know who you are. You know, Grant Cardone, you've heard him say, good publicity, bad publicity, people need to know who you are. Like, it doesn't matter, right? You just got to get out there. He says it cost him a lot of money not building his brand soon enough. He had a great product, but it cost him a lot, not a lot of money not building his brand. So I was like, dude, I got to build my brand. So when I got together with you guys, it's super important. Um, I needed help. I think everybody in life, if you want to be, um, if you want to win in swimming, you're going to have to get a great swim coach. If you want to be awesome in bodybuilding, you're going to get somebody who's good with food, who's good with lifting, who's, who's done something, you know, you know, you, you built a great media company. I am a person who wanted to start my business. I don't know much about media. A lot of people don't. A yeah. lot of people think building a brand is shooting a piece of content, putting emojis on it and captions and putting it on social media. That is not building a brand. And that's why so many people, they're frustrated because they've been making content for one or two years and they haven't grown. So I think building a brand is the single most important thing that anybody should do in the era that we live in right now. And I'll tell you this. People used to watch the news, John. Okay? They don't watch the news no more. They're, they're watching social. influencers. Yeah. They're watching social media. So it's more important now than ever. And I really think for the next 15 years, I think that influencers, which are leaders, by the way, just it's, it's not you getting out there so you can just be on camera. It's there's someone on the other side of that camera that needs your help. And if you can help them, I think it's your I think it's your your job as a good human being to get out there and show human excellence, show the way to live. And if you do that, the world's starving for leaders. That's how you build your brand. But again, there's lots of things that you guys do in your company that help people build their brands really quick so they don't waste their time. I hate wasting my time. Yeah, and I think that's what building a brand does. It saves you a lot of time. Like a lot of people don't have the luxury of waiting 20 years to build out their company or build out their business or build out their brand. They could expedite that process through social because everybody's attention's on social, right? Yeah, well, look, just watch people driving down the road. Are they paying attention to the road or are they on their phone? They're on their look, phone Look at people driving. when they go out to dinner. Are they having conversation? No, go to, ev go to dinner and look around at a table. Everybody's on their phone. Go yeah. to a job. Are people working or are they on their phone? They're on their phone. Dude, listen, nothing in this world competes with this. Yeah. Nothing. And it has so much power, it's I'm not scary. saying that it shouldn't, but this is a tool to make you money, but most people are a tool for this. Okay? I create content. I don't consume it. Most people consume it. They love this. They love watching this more than they love living their own life. I will tell you, if you want to build an empire... This is the key. Yeah. So how do you get on here and how do you dominate when the whole world wants to be on there? Um, I think that's what you guys do. And I think that's the reason why we're having this podcast talking about how to build a personal brand and get ahead. But ask I any think, question. We'll roll. I think the biggest issue that I see is that everything seems to be like a carbon copy of each other. And I think a lot of people are chasing whatever's hot, whatever the flavor of the day is. And then you really are chasing it to the bottom instead of thinking about like, who are you? What's your message? What kind of value can you provide and trying to put that together and package it and showcase it to the world. So I think that in essence is storytelling, 
But I think a lot of people don't think of it that way. And I think that's was our approach is that we look at it as we're telling stories. We're not making videos. We're trying to do cinematic quality material. And we want to help you tell your story better by knowing you better, finding out what you like, who you are, what you value, and having you share that value to the world. So I think that when you think about it, when you're filming is like, how can I add value to the person on the other side of this screen? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Well, it's always about that because yeah. it's never been about you. It can't be about you. It has to help other people. So there, there's two different sides of this. Number one, there's a lot of people that go out on the internet, right? And they look for trending topics. Right. And then they're like, oh, this is trending. And then they'll do the trending thing. And, or I mean, give an example, even more. People watch social media videos and then they reply to social media videos. I think that's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I mean, I'm just telling you, like, it's like, oh, it's like my team, if they came to me and they go, hey, watch this girl's TikTok, and then I want you to respond to it on social media. Dude, that's dumb. I don't gossip. I don't watch other people. Okay, I don't watch the news. I make the news. I'm a standard setter. I'm an industry <laughs> leader. I don't do that. That's dumb. Okay, you know what I want to do? Number one, who are you? Do you have a family? Do you believe in God? How hard do you work? What are your core values? What are your standards? And then what you do is that you take whatever it is that you believe in, do you want to do it at a high level? If you do, more people are going to want to follow you. Then you need to find an editor, a company that can go and they can create that piece of content, how you believe. And like you said, they can tell a story and that makes people be like, dude, I can relate with that. I want to, I want to roll with people like that. That's all we do. That's all we've done together. Yeah. We've never followed a trend. We've never watched what other people are doing. And we're like, we're going to do that. Dude, I had one time and I'm just telling you, and I had an editor a long time ago. And they were like, dude, we got to get on TikTok. I know this sounds stupid, but we got to do these TikTok skits. And I was like, you're out of here. Like, I don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> you're like, I'm not doing the well, skits. Well, well, no, no, no. I'm not that guy. I'm not that person. I don't want to be that person. I'm an educational person. I'm a person. That's not me. And I think what you just said is that most people get out there and they're trying to be like everyone else. And they wonder why their stuff's not growing. Dude, you, the, the rules have changed. You got to stand out. You got to be different. You got to be able to make connections that other people can't. You got to literally get out there and whatever in the heck it is that you're good at, you got to do it. That gets recorded. It goes to a company like yours. You create the right music, the right sounds, the right angles, the right footage, and then boom, it gets out there to the world and people are like, damn, man, that inspired me. I like that. Yeah, I think the key is to be who you are. First of all, you have to figure out who you are by thinking about that and thinking that through and, and kind of churning off the noise and getting clear about what that is. Everybody has value to add. And I think that a lot of times people don't realize that. And that is the best place to start is like if you're constantly thinking about not yourself, but the person on the other side of the screen, that's a pretty good place to start. And so I think getting clear on that is the key. And that's what we help people do. And I every time we talk to somebody, they're so it's so distorted. It's convoluted. They're they're, yeah, they're taking in all this. I mean, how would you know what to follow? Rule number if you one, type in how to on YouTube, a million things to are going to come up. Yeah. Dude, listen, I want to tell everybody right now. We, we're, we're at 1.8 million followers. We've had an Instagram channel for a year and a half. Um, the compound effect is hitting. We'll be at 10 million by the end of this year. We'll be at 2 million within the next month. We're continually to grow. We gain five to 600,000 new followers on Instagram every 30 days. Um, we're scaling and growing at light speed pace. We get 150 million views every 28 days. We follow no one. We literally get out there, tell the truth, and we have a great editing system. That editing system tells the story, puts the right music, decides what color grade it goes out, black, white, what does it feel like, what is the title, what's the thumbnail. There's so much science that goes into this, but you don't have to think about that. What I like about me is, I, look, I'm an artist. I'm a creator. When I speak, when I talk, I'm a creator. I, I create. I'm an artist. Um, I put passion into everything that I do. I want to just do what I do. I want to change people's lives. I want to hand over the content, and I want someone else to put together the art. Guys, Andy Elliott, listen, if you're interested in real estate investing, I've got the Hustle Summit. It's going to be June 1st. It's going to be in Scottsdale, Arizona. You guys know where I live. Now, this event is going to be one day. It's going to be super simple. I've got a boy of mine. His name's Eric Klein. 
He's built about four eight-figure businesses, and right now he's teaching people how to do wholesale real estate and make a hundred grand a month. You guys just text the number below to get your information on the tickets. I'd love to get close to you. I will be here. I'll meet all of you. I'll be speaking to you. Text the number below. I'll get you the information. Let's kill it. I want to hand them over. It'd be a blank canvas, and they'd be like, bam, 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 and all of a sudden they hand it back to me, and I'm like, damn. Yeah, I'm like, did I do that? Because time is money, right? You should be focusing on doing. Oh, dude. Rule number one, look, in the beginning, you always edit your own stuff day one just because you got to kind of get familiar with how things work and you got to learn. But, dude, listen, you're going to spend money in marketing. Remember I told you in the beginning you're going to spend money on marketing? Yeah. Okay? Guys, I never spent a dollar on marketing. I spent money on my editing on my social media because organically, once I got it out there, I'm going to give you guys a, a, a trick. This is a hack I'm going to give everybody for free. Okay? If you have a product that's great and you don't want – and you want to, you don't even have to sell nothing, okay? I do all my selling, who I am, what I stand for, how great I am at what I do, how I can help people, what I believe, what we're doing in life, how real I am, no show. I do all that in the content because we just document our life. And we hand that over to editors. Editors create that, drop it out to the world and show them how we're living. When people reach out, my team don't even have to sell nobody on doing business with me or coaching and all that stuff. They're already sold. They're already sold. There's no sell. That's it's like of the what, content. what product do you want to get together with Andy? How close do you want to get, get with Andy? <clears throat> what coaching do you want to do? We generate 1,500 leads every 30 days on social media. And I want to tell you something. Most people, the money that they spend to try to generate leads, cold leads, most of the time, wrong numbers, wrong emails, wrong everything, who Bam. don't know who you are, and your team is calling them going, <laughs> hey, man, you know, uh, you need to let us help you. And they're like, who are you again? It's like, dude, like that's what you get most of the time with marketing. So, And by the way, marketing is a write-off. So is spending your money on building your brand. It's a write-off. Do you think every it's advertising? Do you think a lot, a lot of the influencers that have been sitting and rotting for decades are pissed off that you're passing them way up? Dude, I don't know, but I <laughs> I, pray, well, I pray they're inspired. I've been dying to ask you that question. Yeah, no, because but you're I, flying past them. Yeah, but I pray they're inspired. I really pray that a lot of people are like, dude, you know what, man? Like this guy showed the way. Okay, like he's not keeping it a secret. He's sharing with everybody what he's doing. Just got to go do it. Like, we want to see other people win. Dude, I'm literally putting you out on the internet or we're talking about you so that people can do business with you, who I do business with, to get the same results that I'm getting. Yeah. Like, it's no secret. We're not hiding it. There's well, that's the value sauce. there. We're talking about the value again. Yeah. It's, you give it's... away free value, and that's why it's so attractive, and that's why you're growing, because people need it. They're desperate for that. It's yeah, a noisy well, space. Well, honestly, I think that there's a lot of show in the world. And I think that a lot of people that have something real, a lot of them are too busy running their businesses. I want to say this. This is important. Okay, I became an influencer on accident, all right? Like, I have a business. I have a business here. We're in a facility at 70,000 square feet. We got our own company. We're a nine-figure business. We have a business. I'm a business owner. I am not a social media. I'm not a YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? I have a business. But then we were giving away um, so much content on the Internet that we became an influencer on accident. And then I was like, damn, dude, you know, leaders are influential. So being an influencer, like, is great. That's just like you're a leader now to a lot of people. And I like that. So I'm always putting free content out there, leading people. But I'm a business owner. Like, after when we're done doing this, I'm going to go back to work. Yeah. Right? Like, we do this for people to become better. There's someone out there right now watching this and millions of people watching this that want to run a business just like mine. They run a, they want to build a brand just like me. By the way, building your personal brand will be the greatest thing you ever did. If you don't do it, it will so cost true. you millions. Okay? But they don't know how to do it. Or they've been paying the wrong people. Or they've been trying it and they're not getting the results they want. They can reach out to you and you'll That's handle right. that. But, but my point is, is that, so I just basically gave them the answers to the test. Here's the test. Here's the answers to the test. But I will tell you that I truly believe building a personal brand, how I blew up on social media, I never, how often, how often do you hear me talking about, you know, the Elliott group? I talk about my team. You don't ever hear me pitching or trying to sell stuff. I'm just showing the way that I live, which leads people to your business. If people like who you are, what you stand for, right? How you believe, how you're operating. You know, you're, you're doing things at a high level. You're proven to be accountable. You're not a coward. You're literally telling the truth every day. Dude, they're going to want to do business with you, and then that makes them ask, what business is this guy in? 
Yeah. Yeah. So like building You're really showing people life, how to live. Yes. How to be the best version of themselves. Which takes them to your business. Right. Okay. If I want to do business with somebody's business, sure. If you have a selfie stick, right? And I'm like, I have a phone and I need a selfie stick, right? Then I'm not like trying to be inspired by the selfie stick owner. But if I don't need a selfie stick, I'm just giving an example hypothetically. And I'm following this guy on Instagram. I'm like, dude, I love the way this guy is. And then I realize that this guy sells selfie sticks too. I'll probably buy one because I like the guy. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. So I'm sitting here with my man, John. Obviously, everybody always asks every day, Andy, how did you blow up on social media? In two or three years, you're freaking everywhere. You get 150 million views every 28 days on social media. I said, it's very simple, okay? Um, obviously, look, I've got a lot to teach. I know you guys probably have a lot to teach. A lot of you are really good at something, but if people don't know who you are, what you do, how great you are at what you do and where you're at, what does it matter? You can't teach anybody, you can't help. So I got together and I asked John, help me build my brand. It's super important. And he did, and it works, and I'd love for you to learn how to build your brand. I'm sharing my secret right now. So you guys can see a number below if you wanna reach out to Dorothy House. They will help you build your brand. They will do your social media for you. They will blow you up. They are unreal. It works because it worked for me. I am living proof that it works. And the same people that help me, the number below, if you text them right now, all you do is text them, say, hey, I want to blow up my brand. You know, I want to blow up it like Andy. I don't care. Just say, dude, I need help on social media. They will get with you and they will help you. Whether you want to do one reel a day, one piece of content, or four or five a day like I do. If you're a company, if you're an individual, they got you. Let's get back to the video. I appreciate you. But if you're ready to blow up your brand, text the number below. Let's go. See, the personal brand is 20 times more powerful than the freaking brand itself. And if you're going to build a brand online, don't go out there trying to tell people. Like I'm giving an example. When I sold cars... I was when I was younger, I wouldn't be talking about selling cars if I would have done social media back then. Yeah. I'd have been talking about what I do. I'd have been showing myself in the gym. I'd have been showing my family. I'd have been showing my awesome customers when they're doing business with me, how happy they are. I've been showing the experience. I've been showing real life stuff going on. But I wouldn't have gone on social media and go, Hey guys, it's Andy Elliott. If you need a car today, come down. I want to take care of you. I would have had no one follow me. <laughs> But that's why people get it screwed up. Yeah. They're getting out there. Well, they're, they're focusing pitching, on the pitching, wrong pitching, stuff. Pitching, pitching. Nobody likes you. Nobody knows what you stand for. And, dude, it is 2024 at the time we're shooting this. Like, dude, you have no idea the difference between a badass editor and a weak editor. It's the storytelling. It's the music. It's it's. It's, like I said, the color grade. It's the way that they put it together. Sometimes they need to constantly flip um, the, the different positioning of uh, the, 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 the video so people will stay engaged. Different angles, yeah. Yeah, but like even if you have one camera, they'll, they'll zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. While the, you're talking, when really if you would have edited it yourself or you paid an amateur editor, it would have just showed you talking the whole time and there would have been no difference on the camera and people wouldn't have stayed tuned in. Like, yeah. dude, this is stuff is all a science. It's proven. The data is there to show you how to be an animal. But amateurs don't do this. And by the way, you get what you pay for. So if you're like, dude, I want to build a badass brand. I want to take over the world. I want to generate a lot of leads. I want to uh, be an influencer. I want to do all this. Dude, if you can become an influencer, you're automatically a multi, multi, multi millionaire. If you can do it. Not a fake one, a real one. Okay? So yeah. what does it cost you not, not to, do to do it? it? That's it. Everything. Yeah. Like, so like you guys need to understand that, like, and by the way, it's not for you. It's for, for other people, especially if you're a coach, especially if you're a good person, like your, like your whole goal is to get out there and to live out human excellence. Yeah. Wait till you get the bill for not trying. Yeah. As they say, right? Yeah. Well, it, well, <laughs> That's or, the real price. Or for not understanding what generation you live in. Yeah. You know, I mean like, listen, dude, I'm going to tell you like, honestly, you know, like a long time ago, and I want to let everybody know this, a long time ago, if you, if you had a private jet and $20 million, like people would be lined up to come hang out with you, dude. They wanted to be your buddy. People don't care anymore, man. Dude, listen, they want to be with somebody that they like. They want to be with somebody who's cool. That's why it's so important for you to, like you said, be who you are. Find a good editor that helps you tell your story to get out there because these people, they will choose you over that person that they don't have anything in common with with all the money in the world. You know what I mean? It's just real. Like, that's the way it works, guys. So. Oh, yeah. So <clears throat> I we get people often that'll say that they want to build, like, a billion-dollar brand. And, oh, I want to make a million a month. I want to make 
10 million a month and then they they approach it like with the walmart budget what do you have to say to those people that they think that they're gonna they don't realize that the cost they want to build a billion dollar brand well, but they don't understand that there's a cost associated with it, that. it's like advertising okay right. let's say if you go to youtube ads instagram ads facebook ads okay mm -hmm. it costs money to advertise right of course okay so how many leads do you want how much do you want to sell more money you got to spend it's very yeah. it's very simple you can't get mad at Facebook and go, hey, I want to spend $50 a day running an ad. You're going to get nothing. You're yeah. going to get junk. I mean, but people will go and they'll spend three or four grand and then they'll be like, oh, man, Facebook sucks. No, dude, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube ads make people a lot of money. But you have to be a big player in that industry and you have to spend some money. If you don't spend money, you don't get big results. Everybody wants the highest reward for the least risk the highest upside for the, for the lowest investment. The lowest investment is this. You get out there, you build your brand. I would, I'm gonna give everybody a couple different numbers I want you to think about, okay? Five grand, 10 grand, 15 grand, 20 grand, 25 grand per month, okay? Not making that, spending that. If you'll spend about five grand a month, you'll make yourself about 25. It's always about five X. Okay. Now it, it, it could be a hundred X for me. It's been like a thousand X, but I'm just going to give some, some, some numbers. If you spend 10 grand, you're going to make 50 you spend 15. You make 75. You spend 20, you'll make a hundred. You spend 25 grand. You'll make 125. Bottom line is if you were to give me a dollar and I was to give you back $5. Okay. Like you would, you would give me as much as I would take because I would give you five X in return. The only thing that's guaranteed and for sure, advertising, but the difference between building a brand and advertising budgets is advertising budgets, you spend the money and after the money's spent, the advertising's gone, it stops and it disappears. With building a brand, when you get it out there, it stays out there forever. I, I wanna explain this to you. I, I got videos that I shot in 2019 and 2020 that still generate me millions of dollars a month in income because they're still out there. Had I chosen to put my money in marketing and not put my money in my brand, had I chosen to go and be like, oh yeah, you know, I don't wanna pay an editor to do a bunch of stuff, but I'm gonna spend money on ads. Dude, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. The compound effect of shooting a piece of content and knowing that it stays on the internet for eternity is priceless. By the way, when you shoot your content today, you're gonna be better six months from now, you're gonna be better a year from now. Dude, listen to me. I want to make you look as great as you can right now, but also I want to show people in a year what's possible with you and your life. And that's inspiring and people love that. And that's part of being an influencer is that literally it's real life people showing their weaknesses, showing their, their issues, showing their problems, showing tough times, showing their wins, showing everything online. And people love watching people go. That's why people like these reality TV shows. That's why people like Netflix. They like series. Does that make sense? Yeah, because it's real life. Yeah, because it's real life. That's what people It's human, want, yeah. Yeah, so like... People don't want to be done to. They want to be done for. Yeah, well, so like it's either... Right now, guys, one of two things. Go spend your <laughs> Nobody money... Nobody likes to be done to. Well, go spend your money on marketing, okay? And then at the end of 30 days, after you spend your money, or the day that you spend your last dollar, it turns off. Yeah, because that... And, and that... it disappears. <clears throat> Yeah, in that case, it, it, you're just racing to be the loudest one or the one that gets the most attention. But then once the money's spent, it's spent and it's gone forever. You have to keep spending to play the game. The cool deal about build, building your brand, I'm going to be honest with you, the last three years since we've been doing this, if I was to turn off now and never have you shoot another piece of content, you, I would still live on till the end of time. I want to tell you because something. Because of the residual, probably. Greg Plitt. Greg Plitt died in 2016. Greg Plitt was a motivational speaker bodybuilder who was on Muscle Magazine. He was amazing. He shot content every single day, right? Mm -hmm. Every day he shot content. Put it out online. You know what happened? 2016, he got sponsored by Nike. His goal was to outrun a train. He was going to run uh, across the train tracks and outrun a train. Tripped, fell, train ran him over. Crazy. Guys, go look up Greg Plitt. Amazing. You see him on Pep Talk. You see him on YouTube. You see him everywhere. Go look up Greg Plitt. Once you start walking to stuff, you're going to be hooked. He's everywhere. His content he made 10 years ago still trends the, air, the, the industry in every motivational stuff that you can find. What does that mean? 
That means, dude, that content never goes away. It never dies. It never ends. Advertising money does. So the greatest thing that anyone could ever do, especially if like you don't want to spend, 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 and the second you stop spending, you're done, is build your brand. And by the way, listen to me. I can't. When you're doing targeting, that means you're targeting me down. On adver- when we build our brand, that means people that are like us, that like the products that we have, find us, and those people are our greatest clients. There's this uh, email I read a long time ago, or this there was a short story. It was called "A Thousand Raging Fans," and like, dude, like most businesses, like you don't need millions of people. You most businesses. That's Seth Godin. Yeah, but just a thousand. Like a thousand, like a thousand. Sure. If you had a thousand good clients, you don't need 10,000. A thousand good ones. How many of you right now, you have a product, and if you could find a thousand top playing, paying clients that would love your product, you'd never have to look for another one again. That's my deal. Like, that's why your <clears throat> brand is so important, is because you're not going to find those raging fans unless you build a personal brand. I mean, it made Kim K a billionaire. She went from a closet organizer to a billionaire in 15 years. So that's the power of a personal brand. Well, by the way, it took <laughs> like what it did for Trump. Well it, well, well, it took 15 years for them, but now social media. You could do it in three. Exactly. Because she was first to market. She was an early adopter. It wasn't really established yet. Now you could do it a lot faster. Exactly. And, and that's Look what happened with you right after Garrett took his shirt off. It shot you to the moon, right? How many views has that had? Let's talk about Garrett take your shirt off. 50 million views? That yeah, I just told, bottom line is, 50, I just, listen. But that particular video behind the scenes, right? me and Garrett, I was getting on stage and Garrett, I was walking up stage and Garrett stopped me and goes, "Hey, um, I want you to push me today." I don't even know who he was. And I, I said, "Okay, cool." I was like, "What does that mean?" He's like, "I want you to call me out, like hit me with an objection or something," because he sees me like hit people with objections, and, I, and I'm, like, I'm like, "I don't know who you are." And he's like, "Dude, you changed my life." He's like, "So I just want you to hit me today. I want you to challenge me." So I. And Garrett's in sales. So I thought, I'm going to throw him a curveball. I'm not going to hit him with an objection. I'm going to make him take his shirt off. If he really wants to be pushed, let me see if there's a stopping point to the criticism that I have for him. And so, remember, winners love criticism, losers hate it. So we said, test me. So I went to test him to see if he was going to take it like a loser or take it like a winner. Mm -hmm. If he was going to try to walk off stage or if he was going to look at me and be like, and that's why he was like, yes, sir. Yes, 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 because he took it because he asked me to put pressure on him. So on stage, I was like, dude, this is the last time you're ever going to look like this. And I grabbed his love handle. I wanted to watch his face. I wanted to see his eyes. And he was super focused. Today, Garrett has a six-pack. Today, Garrett's business is 20 x Today, Garrett is a, a total new man. I knew that an objection, when I was looking into his eyes, I knew that wasn't enough for him. I knew I needed to completely break him and make him feel as uncomfortable as possible um, because guys like him are an underdog and they thrive in pressure situations and they won't let anybody down and now that I made him accountable in front of the whole world I knew that he could never hide again and I knew that he had a discipline remember this if you're a great leader you'll find people's undisciplined and that's what I did I found his 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 dull disciplined blade in his health and that's why I exposed that boy. That's why I chose that discipline. He was good at sales. I didn't want to play that game because he was good at that game. So I'm always like, remember, two rules to business. Don't ever let anybody know your business better than you. And rule number two, try to figure out how to kick your own ass. His kicking ass was going to be in his, his health, which was affecting his mental side, which obviously, you know, he may end up making more money too. So anyways, but I, that's why I triggered him on that, dude. But yeah, no, I mean, we blew up. But it was all, there was a camera there. And then there mm-hmm. was an editor that did his work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Personal brand. Yeah, That's well, a dude, great listen, story right there. <laughs> hey, we'll either build one, okay, and then kill it this next 10 years and become the king and help a lot of people and be a good person or don't. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm trying to tell you, everybody watching this right now, you have the information, okay? You have my resource, which helped me build my brand. And if you're serious, which I only do business with serious people, if you're serious, well, then you guys can kill it. It's that easy. Build a personal brand. Number one, I'm going to tell you lots of reasons why you need to build a personal brand outside of financial wealth. Number one, it unlocks doors that you could never get into. That's number one.
Number two, it unlocks previously closed doors that you couldn't once get into, but now you can. Okay, number three, the power of, you know, just, I'm going to say, uh, getting things done. I, I, every, I don't take advantage of this. Every week, um, I go and I, I park my car. I go to a valet. I go to something. I go to take my family out to dinner. Every time I go park my car, the valet guys, no matter who they are, they're always like, oh, my God, Andy Elliott, dude, thanks, man. Here, we got you, dude. Get out of here. No, you, we, we, you can't take your money, man. You changed our life. We can't take your money. I go into the restaurant, okay? We order food. We eat. I'm ready to pay. And they're like, somebody got your bill. And I'm like, who, who got our bill? And they're like, they told us we couldn't tell you. And I look around the restaurant. I'm like, dude, who got our bill? And they're like, they told us we couldn't tell you. Everywhere we go, someone gets our bill. And I'm just like, dude, like it, it's almost unfair because me and my wife don't let anyone pay for our food. We don't let anybody pay. We buy everybody else's stuff. But this stuff's weird. But I know, though, this is what I'm trying to tell you. When you step out there and try to change people's lives, it, it, it it's quite crazy. Hey, guys, sorry to interrupt the video. So I'm sitting here with my man, John. Obviously, everybody always asks every day, Andy, how did you blow up on social media? In two or three years, you're freaking everywhere. You get 150 million views every 28 days on social media. I said it's very simple, okay? Um, obviously, look, I've got a lot to teach. I know you guys probably have a lot to teach. A lot of you are really good at something, but if people don't know who you are, what you do, how great you are at what you do and where you're at, what does it matter? You can't teach anybody, you can't help. So I got together and I asked John, help me build my brand. It's super important. And he did, and it works, and I'd love for you to learn how to build your brand. I'm sharing my secret right now. So you guys can see a number below if you wanna reach out to Dorothy House. They will help you build your brand. They will do your social media for you. They will blow you up. They are unreal. It works because it worked for me. I am living proof that it works. And the same people that help me, the number below, if you text them right now, all you do is text them, say, hey, I want to blow up my brand. You know, I want to blow up it like Andy. I don't care. Just say, dude, I need help on social media. They will get with you and they will help you. Whether you want to do one reel a day, one piece of content, or four or five a day like I do. If you're a company, if you're an individual, they got you. Let's get back to the video. I appreciate you. But if you're ready to blow up your brand, text the number below. Let's go. And I'm going to say the last one. It's cool to have your face stand out in a crowd. Okay? You know, parents teach you, lay under the radar, play small. Play you know. it safe. Well, no, no, no. Like, like, don't boast. Don't be flashy. Be meek in the this corner. This isn't about you. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> There's listen. nothing noble about being meek in the corner. Listen, you, you can decide to, like I said, yeah, go in a corner, hide, live 100 years, put a blanket on you, be fed three times a day and be lethargic. Okay? Like, not care. Or you can go out there and you can live your best life and you can inspire a lot of other people to live their best life. I would rather live two more years or even one and never get another year and not, ba not make it out of my 40s and live and give everything I got, then live a long life and play small and not help anybody. Does that make sense? For sure. Yeah, so I just want to tell you that literally, like, those are some reasons why, like, building a brand is super important. Those are some things that, like, I never even thought or even imagined that could happen to you. Um, I get phone calls from people all the time. I literally was just talking to Russell Brunson this morning. Yeah, so a lot of, <clears throat> a lot of people fall into the trap of, like, the thirst trap. So it becomes about, like, just the look and kind of that vibe of the video, but they're not really thinking about adding value. So how is how important is it if you're in a position as an influencer to add value to people? Like, why is that the key? Do you think that is the the most important message in it, all that you do? Is that you're constantly thinking about how can I add value to this person? Can I see something in themselves that they can't see? And is that what people should be thinking about when they when they're yeah? Well, listen. At content? the end of the day, I, I've said this. It's a privilege to be a leader, okay? If you're running a team of 10, your job is to go inside to that business every day and those 10 people change all their lives. When you decide to be an influencer, you're reaching out to 9 billion people, hypothetically. And your goal is all of those people is to raise their standards, raise their belief, give value to them every day, like to recreate yourself, right? Like self-leadership, mm -hmm. um, literally, do it to change other people's lives. Yeah, dude, listen, if you don't give value, um, you're not going to make it, dude. Listen, number one, no one's going to know who you are, okay? People aren't stupid. People got a bullshit meter, okay? If they don't believe that you're real, they're not going to like you. They're not going to follow you. It's not going to happen, okay? But secondly, I think that everybody has value to bring. I, I really do. I, I honestly think that a lot of people, and I want to say this, they discredit themselves and say, well, I don't have anything to bring 
Why would I do that? Listen, I'm going to tell you this. Are you an overcomer? Do you have a story to tell? Have you changed your life? You know what I mean? Have you seen yourself through something hard? Like, these are like little things right here that like make you qualified to be an influencer. Yeah. At the end of the day, I've been through hell, almost went to jail, had all these bad things happen, hung out with the wrong people, came from freaking being a loser, had success, made a lot of money, lost it all, let all the money fall through my fingers, had my wife almost leave me at some point because I was working so hard I almost forgot about my family, got mm. close to God, left God, realized he was there for me. As I tell these stories, people are normal. They're just like us. They're like, dude, like... I'm going to make sure that because you've explained that story so well that now I don't have to go through that. Like, dude, I'm going to tell you this. I've touched the stove, so I try to tell people every day, don't touch that stove. That's the number one thing I try to do. I think that people now, being a great influencer is, in my end, because I was crazy, and I still am crazy, but, like, I was crazy in some wrong ways, is that I explain to people that you don't have to do what I did. You can live through my shoes and learn what is wrong by just watching and listening so you don't have to do it. That's a smart way to do it. That's called saving yourself 20 years. Yeah. So like, yeah, but I'm just telling you, do transactional. If you ever have someone. It's short lived. Yeah, yeah. That you see today and then they're gone tomorrow. It's because they were transactional. Okay. People that bring value will be around for decades. And by yeah. the way, building a brand, you'll be around for the next 10, 15, 20 years. For sure. And the cool thing, I'm going to say one more thing. I actually really like this because this means a lot to me. If I did die. In two years from now, let's just say, or I died today. My kids got an opportunity to go see how I lived, what I stood for. My kids can go right now. I had this uh, buddy one time. He goes, dude, I left a video in my safe talking to my kids. In case I ever die, they can watch it. I go, dude, that's cool, man. I've got thousands of videos my kids can watch when I die. Thousands. Mm -hmm. I have showed, talked, explained everything on planet Earth. Not only to help a lot of other people, but in the event that I die, my children can go back and watch the way I lived and watch everything. Dude, I think that's cool. That is so cool. So if you talk about building a brand, like, dude, like, they can watch this right now. That's legacy. I don't need you to tell my kids how I lived. My kids can go watch how I lived. I know how Greg Plitt lived. I just go watch his videos. I know exactly who he was. There's hundreds of them. Mm -hmm. He's still around after he's gone. So if you want to really become a legend, if you want to really have a great life while you're here and then make your life live longer than you were when you were around and, and outlive you, you got to build a brand. That's it, man. So I would just tell like anybody watching this right now, um, this is my good buddy John, owns a company called Dorothy House uh, Media. They got a great team. We're always, they're at all our events. They crush it, they kill it. They handle our social media. They're amazing. They handle all my big influencer friends, social media. They do all kinds of cool stuff. If you want to kill it and crush it, you guys know how to reach out to them. Okay, They're the best, they're the greatest. And uh, we're out here in Scottsdale, Arizona. We're about to kick off a badass weekend on a seminar event weekend. Oh, and yeah. It's going to be awesome. We're always together. So if you guys want to dominate, make sure you reach out to them. But I will tell you the biggest regret you'll have is not building your brand. And an even bigger regret, regret would be knowing that you need to build your brand, trying to do it on your own without getting with the professional so you can do it right and make it count. It's 2024 at the time we're shooting this. I'd love to see at the end of 2024 that every one of you have an amazing brand built. Okay, Not only will it generate a ton of money, but also it will help you Man, I think be held accountable. Like I love social media because it it shows people all the time what I'm up to, what I'm doing. I can't I can't hide, man. Hey, can I get fat? I'm just asking a question. Can I get fat? Sure. No, dude. No, I can't. <laughs> dude, I got a I got a camera on me every day, man. I gotta freaking make sure that I'm getting out there. It holds me accountable. Can I be bad to my team? Can I be in a bad mood? Can I have bad energy? Can I not work? No, dude, I gotta do it now more than I've ever done it. Yeah. I think social media is the highest level of accountability that a human being could ask for or have. I got all the vote. I swear to God, I've been at it for a minute. Climbing hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor. Share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video. Comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.
Long nights, long flights, I'ma make it big. Big dreams, big sights since I was a kid.